Why, hello there, everyone. I hope you are doing well and also being safe. Now, as many of you might already know, GameStop, after facing protests and then getting shut down in California, it is now switching to an online-only and curbside-only delivery service. What does that look like? Well, let's find out, because I have to go pick up my Doom Eternal pre-order, which is what I'm about to go do. And I just finished talking to the GameStop employee on the phone, and apparently how this is supposed to go down in theory is that if you're going to buy something there, you would order it online and then show up, and then you would call them and let them know you're there, and then they come out and bring it to you. But in this case, because I pre-ordered Doom Eternal in-store before this situation escalated to such a degree, if you pre-order the game in-store, you have to finish paying for it in-store technically, because apparently their computer system doesn't allow more flexibility than that because I, I was going to finish paying for it online but that won't work so what he said that we were going to have to do is that I'm going to go there I'm going to call him and let him know when I'm there and he's going to come out and we are going to finish the transaction outside so let's see how that goes and wish me luck This is the Joplin GameStop, right? Yeah. Okay, so I called earlier and coordinated a curbside pickup with another employee there. And I have to, he said that I have to finish the transaction outside because it was a pre-order that I placed in store, which isn't fully paid off. Okay. Are you here to do that? Yes, I'm, I'm in the parking lot. Okay, no problem. ID. Okay, so how much exactly is it? Because if you know exactly how much it is right now, I'd rather just pay cash to minimize the amount of. Uh, we can't do any cash. You can't do any cash? No, they won't let us do any cash. Okay. Okay, so I bring my card and ID then? Okay. I'll be up there. Okay. Bye. Apparently they won't accept cash at all, so I have to hand them my card and my ID, of course, because the game is rated M. So I have my ID and my card in my pocket right now. And I also have these wipes in my jacket pocket, just so that way they know that I'm being extra careful so I don't put them in a weird position or anything because I want to make sure I wipe everything down when they hand it to me and also when I hand them something. And of course, uh, all the uh, town utilities are using active right now. This one is connected to a Starbucks, which obviously gets more traffic than the GameStop ever does. And naturally, I've never seen the parking lot here this vacant, but it's still surprisingly full. I thought it would be more empty. And I'm definitely not going in. I think I should just wait at the door. Oh, look at that. They have the cages. See the cages in there? Reminds me when I was in Jamaica. Let's make sure they can see me. And because of how sunny it is outside and how dark it is in there comparatively, I can't actually tell can't really see anything in there, but they'll see me.
Hello. Hello. I'm recording, by the way. Okay. Not fine. not for any. I'm not trying to like bust you or anything. I'm just making a video. Uh, okay. <laughs> so just the cards. Just the cards, yeah. Just want to make sure you know I'm being extra careful. <laughs> it's okay. I don't want to put you in a weird position or anything, you know. I'm just gonna walk in there and put your money on it and give you a receipt. Okay. So there's the uh, card. I want to dry it off a bit. Okay. It's still wet from. Okay. You know, wiping it down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yep. And is it debit or credit? It is debit. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, would you rather me charge it as credit or do you want to give me the pin so I can charge it as debit? Does it matter? Uh, not really. Okay. Was it, isn't the pin on the back? No, that's just the security number. What is the pin then? Uh, it's the pin that you type every time you run it. Uh, like one, two, three, seven, or something like that. I don't normally do that. Okay. Does no, that mean I just normally run it as credit? Probably. Okay. No, just run it. Shouldn't make it's a difference, fine. right? Um, it generally doesn't. Okay. Thanks. I just want to ask, just to be sure. I don't know if he was put off with my recording or not. But shout out to the employees. Shout out to the employees here for still working. There's the Starbucks over there. I wonder why they can't take cash. That's something I might want to look into. Because usually cash is what's always accepted no matter what. It has more fiat. Okay. Your okay. items are in the back. Thanks. Uh, if you don't mind, can you... Uh, hand it to me out of the bag. The items? Yeah. It's just the receipt and the game, right? Well, the receipt and your card and your ID are right there. Okay. Um, Is it just the game in the bag then? The game and the uh, pre-order exclusive. Oh, okay. I'll take the whole bag then. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for being weird about it. I just, you know, don't want to make you worry or anything. I'm <laughs> okay. Have a good day. Yep, yeah, thanks. Th uh, once again, thanks a lot. Okay, don't celebrate too early. Just wanted to make sure I wipe everything down. So, might just do that in the car, but just making, I'll make sure that I don't make it come into contact with anything else before I thoroughly wipe everything down, just to be extra careful. And I will see you then. Okay, so I wiped everything down thoroughly with trusty Clorox, which includes both of my cards, well, my card and my ID card, and then the bag, obviously, which, which is a little tricky because you want to make sure you get all the creases and everything, and then, of course, my receipt, but I wanted to make sure to not destroy the receipt because the receipt has the code on it for the DLC, which is part of the pre-order bonus. But in addition to the pre-order bonus, in addition to that pre-order bonus, apparently there's another one in here which I wasn't completely aware of, so I thought we should open it up and see what it is because I, I felt like if I ended the video by leaving GameStop, it would have been somewhat anticlimactic. So we have to have some payoff here by seeing the prize itself. And yes, if you're wondering, it, Clorox even specifically mentions the virus of interest by name here, if you don't believe me, right there. Not sponsored by Clorox either, but uh, if a Clorox representative is watching, you can message me on Twitter. I have the link in my description. Anyways, let's start. So, 
Obviously, I haven't gotten to the contents inside yet, so I need to do that first and foremost. And I'm going to be throwing away this bag, obviously. So, game, obviously, and apparently, what? It comes with a lunchbox as well. A metal lunchbox. I didn't even know about this. I knew about the DLC pre-order bonus because there's one code on the receipt, at least I saw one code at a quick glance, and that should include both the Doom 64 code and the DLC for Doom Eternal because... When Doom Eternal initially got delayed, they added Doom 64 as a pre-order bonus, as a consolation, as a consolation bonus, sort of, just to, you know, as, a, as an apology for delaying the game, which is nice, so now we can play Doom 64 as well, because I actually have not played 64 yet. Uh, I played the original Dooms, but not Doom 64. Anyways, let's wipe everything down here, starting with the main entree. Fortunately, games come in these plastic wraps to begin with when they're new, so it's pretty easy to clean this. Not that I don't trust the employees or anything, but obviously I want to be as safe as possible. Pretty cool box art. So I'm going to let that air dry while I wipe down the lunchbox package. There are little holes on this plastic, so I want to make sure I don't get a whole bunch of bleach through the hole and corrode the paint on this in any way. Because I'm pretty sure this came inside the plastic already. I'm pretty sure the employees did not put it in there. So I don't have to worry about wiping the lunchbox itself. Okay, so that shall air dry as well. I'm going to move the bag over here and throw it away later, just because there's no need for it. I have plenty of, I have plenty of bags saved for trash bags that you hang on a doorknob and whatnot. So this is air dried. Hope the bleach doesn't discolor my lovely background here. Why, yes, it is a lovely background. How keen of you to notice. So. Here it is, Doom Eternal, the game itself, the lunchbox, which I was not expecting as part of a pre-order bonus. And later I will be downloading the code from the receipt, which should include both Doom 64 and the DLC for Doom Eternal. So, I will see you to nukers later. I hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to post any comments or questions you have in the comment section, the aptly named comment section, if you have any comments. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye for now.